It is being biased. It's not bro. Oh my god. Because you're like, oh yeah, America is a place to be right now. Like, yeah, yeah, we know it's right now, but we're talking about the future. We're talking about the moves that other nations are making against the U.S. You know, it might be ten, it might be twenty, it might be, it might be a hundred years from now. We don't know. But empires fall, and it's it's, it's history. History repeats itself every fucking time, and that's okay. You know, that's all I'm saying. But you can't say it never. <laughs> Bro, in our lifetime, this shit will never crumble. Right. In our lifetime, you want to bet on it? Bet you a dollar, probably 90 years from now. <laughs> yeah. All right, 90 years from now, we're going to see if the U.S. crumbles. All right. All right, bro. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Bro. All right, take care. That's how much America has gone away with, bro. But what is that gonna do with anything? That's what happens when when you're powerful. You get away with everything. And I'm telling you, them other niggas is powerful too. So they got away with shit too. So what are you saying? It, let, it let, even time, let time let time tell, bro. But the reason the reason I am not fucking going to China or Europe or whatever is because I already see everything you need right here in New York City, bro. Nobody said it's not. You're you're making you're not making even the argument. You're away from the argument. You're um, real far away. You're literally far this, away from the argument. This is the place to be. In, Nobody in said words, it's not. Right? Today, this is the place to be. In 10 years, it might not be because Let's we see, see the moves. Let's see China, Russia, the, the Arab League, all of them, show we're seeing what, what they're show doing. What literally, what China is creating a new currency with other nations. So, what so, so yeah. guess what? Yeah. So, guess what? Guess what? If this other nations, if like 10, 10 people, right? create a new currency right and you have your own currency but you need to there's 10 people to to make your currency worth it but they have their own currency you think they're gonna abandon that for yours bro we'll see what happens i gotta go back to work though just like you said we'll see what happens but yeah all right bro this was a good conversation man peace stop being biased it's not even like it's not even biased bro it is being biased. Not, bro. Oh my God. Cause you're like, oh yeah, America is a place to be right now. Like, yeah, yeah, we know it's right now, but we're talking about the future. We're talking about the moves that other nations are making against the U.S. You know, it might be ten, it might be twenty, it might be, it might be a hundred years from now. We don't know. But empires fall, and it's it's, it's history. History repeats itself every fucking. It is being biased. Not, bro. Oh my God. Cause you're like, oh yeah, America is a place to be right now. Like, yeah, yeah, we know it's right now, but we're talking about the future. We're talking about the moves that other nations are making against the U.S. You know, it might be ten, it might be twenty, it might be, it might be a hundred years from now. We don't know. But empires fall, and it's, it's it's history. History repeats itself every fucking time, and that's okay. You know, that's all I'm saying. But you can't say it never, <laughs> bro. In our lifetime, this shit will never crumble. Huh? In our lifetime, you want to bet on it? Bet you a dollar, probably 90 years from now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 90 years from now, we're going to see if the U.S. crumbles. All right. All right, bro. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Bro. All right, take care. Yeah, so what you just had was my brother and I having an intellectual dialect or conversation on um, what's like happening um, in terms of politics and <coughs> what's happening in terms of politics um, with, with um, so-called superpower nations or superpowers or whatever the case may be and we're seeing that um, my argument my argument was well he um you know he's in finance so so that's why having a conversation with him on on topics like this is um productive or in, inform, informative whatever the fuck the word is informative okay cool um so my argument with is we we see what was happening with china china's clearly making a lot of power moves right and um a lot of nations have backed away or are backing away from using the US dollars, you know, to trade. You know, the only, and my, my argument is the only reason why the US dollars is 
as powerful is because it's validated by other nations, including the so-called superpower nations, right? So now, um, now that this so-called superpower nations are, are gathering with other nations, um, other superpower nations and other, you know, nations that are not so powerful, um, um, to create new currencies and, and to back away from, from using U.S. dollars as the trade, as the trading, you know, as the height of, this is, this is what we're trading with, right? This is the most powerful currency and this is what we're trading with, right? So, so we're seeing China, Russia, um, the Arab leagues, right? So we're seeing China, Russia, the Arab leagues, um, um, and other African nations are legit backing away from using, from using, um, from using U.S. dollars as a trading um, currency, right? So, so my point is, the only reason why the U.S. currency is valuable is because this other nations make it valuable. Now, if this other nations are walking away from from the U.S. dollars, what does that mean? That means the U.S. dollars is is, is going to crumble. It's going to lose its weight. It's going to lose its power. You only have power if these other nations are walking away from from the U.S. dollars. What does that mean? That means the U.S. dollars is 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 going to crumble. It's going to lose its weight. It's going to lose its power. Um, I'm not rooting for no one. I'm just a uh, um, commentator. <laughs> this point, Africans are on the on the bench right now. You know what I'm saying? So we're just watching right now, seeing what's going on. But um, it looks like China is trying to steal. Well, China's already powerful, so I can't say China is trying to steal power. Um, China, well, you are still number one in terms of influence and and and. And stuff like that but in terms of like economics you know um, in terms of economics um, China is, um, is is way ahead is, is, is leading you know um, in terms of economics so what China is doing is China is gathering <laughs> all the other superpower 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 countries yeah yeah superpower countries <laughs> I don't know that sounds like a um I don't know Marvel movie or something <laughs> Avengers right perfect Avengers China is a is, is avenging everybody well not avenging as in the meaning of avenging but avenging as in the movie Avengers okay I, I know you got it all right, yeah, so China is just collecting a bunch of powerful nations together, and they're basically pulling away from using the U.S. currency as or, or using the U.S. currency for trade. Um, and and <laughs> and that is a powerful move, in my opinion, because what more to do than to take money out of somebody's mouth? You know, I don't got to shoot you. I don't got to do nothing to you. I just got to take the money out of your mouth. And that's it. It's clipped. Why? Because the world we know it today runs on money. Right? Money runs everything. So, once we take away the money, you're clipped. And that's what China is doing right now. They are <laughs> purposely trying to... Well, not even trying because they're doing it. Tr they're they're purposely trashing the U.S. currency because obviously, it's, it's a game of power, right? It's a game of thrones, right? China wants to be on. The th if you ask me, China's already on the throne. It's just covertly. It's just silent. It's just that. It's just that the influence America has is always going to be there because the most of the world speaks English and and not Mandarin, so. I feel like China is is is. I'm not even gonna say this is far fetched, but I see 
I see China colonizing a lot of nations and maybe not completely forcing your language on them, but but making it like a requirement in in your schools. Like they've made some, you know, you know Africans. They've made some um, requirements in Africa, uh, some African countries. Um, but as I said, Africa is already crippled right now, so you could practically do whatever you want with it, right? Um, so we're looking at the U.S. and and China is trying to take the number one spot, or you know. Um, so what they're doing is they're using the currency, they're using the money. They're 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 putting together other nations they, they, to create a new currency. Um, that will that would be basically the new U.S. dollars. You know what I'm saying? And 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 my argument is that yeah, because the only thing. The only thing that makes money, a piece of paper, valuable is, is we, right? If we stop saying this piece of paper is valuable, it goes away. Whatever whatever we deem as valuable, whatever we deem as valuable comes in the picture, right? So it's, 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 it's very simple. And, and the U.S. dollars is no longer backed by gold. So it's like it has no shield to even take this bullets is taken or this arrows is taken you know what i'm saying is 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 open for anybody to 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 scoop in and and take over the number one spot in terms of currency right and i think that's what china is doing what china is doing is in the grand scheme of things literally crippling um the empire we know as as the u.s it's through the money so so because the U.S. because the U.S. Um, is known for printing printing money and stuff. This is how it's always been, you know. Nations, Trump nations, back well. Back then, it was empires trumping empires. You know, today is nations trumping nations. And at the end of the day, it's all about power. It's all about who is much more powerful in terms of politics, economics, military, all of that, right? So what we're seeing is we're seeing China literally um, emerge, <laughs> right? Um, from nowhere for, for the past, you know, for the past how many, how many years? You know, um, and then they're doing their thing. They're, they've been they've been doing their thing. You know, um, and what we've seen is is, is China legit um, in competition or or in in a in a in a in a, in a, in a covert spar with other superpower nations, um, quote unquote, right? With other superpower nations. Um, um, for power, right? Because it's all about power, right? So, 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 basically, my argument is: empires fall, empires crumble. We've seen in history, right? We've seen time without number, time without number, that there'll be a rise of an empire and there'll be a downfall of an empire. This you can't beat it. There's no way around it, right? So, so, so my my stance in, in this is we're seeing what China is doing, and China, you know, some, you know, there, there's so many ways to get power, right? You could get power by killing motherfuckers. You could get power by 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 economics, by politics, right? Now, what China is doing is China is not out here with guns trying to kill people, right? China is doing this covertly, covertly with currency right um and they've done it with with politics too um um so so economic economics <laughs> um, <laughs> so so basically what china is doing now is, is basically game of thrones right so so china is gathering all these other superpowers and saying yo fuck the u.s you know what i'm saying 
you you and I could build or uh, create a new currency. Now, mind you, the U.S. dollars is was was backed by gold. It's no longer backed by gold. You know what I'm saying? Which means the U.S. dollars is already halfway gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just a piece of paper at this point. You know, and the only thing that's keeping it afloat is the value that everybody has in it. Right. So if we all stop valuing the U.S. dollars, guess what happens? The U.S. dollar is no more valuable. Nobody cares. We're moving on to the next shit. Right. And that's what China is doing. China is gathering all the superpower com countries with the other other nations that are not superpowers, uh, but that also have stake or that also have stake in, 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 in using the U.S. dollars or the U.S. currency for trade. So now what happens is if, if China goes to all these countries or all these nations and tell them, yo, fuck the U.S., fuck the currency, we're, we're no longer going to use that, we're going to create our own currency that we are all going to use, you know, I don't know how the terms and agreement works, but but my point is, it, it gets down to the needy and greedy, right? My point is, since the U.S. dollar is no longer backed by gold, is is it... it the, the shield it had that protected it is, is taken off. So now all you gotta do is just burn the piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you walk into a room and you're trying to get to the to a piece of paper and around it you see rocks of gold, you have to go through the gold. But now if we take the gold away, you have easy access to the piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the US dollars essentially is. It's not backed by nothing, is is literally printed. <laughs> it's literally printed like the books, you know, uh, um, um, that you read every day. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing that makes it valuable is because we all have stake in it. We all say it's valuable. So now what happens when we all say it's not valuable? And that's what China is doing, right? It's picking up this other countries and saying, all right, fuck them. Let's create our own currency. Let's put more value in and in, in, let's put value in, in what we create, you know? And um, and and that would be the downfall of the U.S. You know, and China might take over. I don't know whoever might take over, but at the end of the, at the end of the day, the game is power. And to get power, you have to play the game. Politics, economics, um, social media. You know, China is doing their thing with TikTok. You know, this uh, um um. Uh, Back then, when there was the social media, you know, it was, um, it, was, it was based on social programming and all that stuff, you know, education and all that stuff. And I have a lot of respect for China because even though, you know, they came from where they came from, they figured out how to how to come how to how to come back or how to get into positions or into power. And they did it the only way you could do it, which is through your own through your own culture through your own ways through literally not seeking validation from the US or Europe or nobody else but themselves and then that's what China is where it's at today right if we look at Africa today there is no there is no Africans speaking anyways that's another that's another topic but there there is no Af if you go to Africa, they're speaking English, they're speaking French, they're speaking blah 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 blah, right? They have all these foreign languages, all these foreign cultures, all these foreign religions. So how how are you going to be able to build anything if you just keep taking from everywhere else? You can't build nothing when you when 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 you can't build nothing that you can stand on your two feet on your two feet with when you're literally taken from everywhere else but yourself right you you have no identity at that point you know what i'm saying and and i and and before anything you need an ident you need to an identity an identity you know what i'm saying before anything you need to know the position you are in before you can move forward you know so um for me it's simple logic right Money is a piece of paper. The only reason why money is valuable is because the whole world sees money as va as value, right? And we have said the U.S. dollars is on, it's on the food chain, it's on the top of the food chain of money, of currency. 
So now what happens when we all say, all right, the US dollar is no longer value. We no longer value it. We're gonna create another currency called um, um, a, a, ABZ or whatever, right? And we're gonna put more value in that, right? So what happens is the value transforms from, from dollars to ABZ currency. And, and it just is what it is. And, and time goes, you know, and, and, and time goes on, people move on and, and it will be a new empire that that takes over power and and it's just that simple it's not complicated you know well that was my position in that argument um but yeah i can't i can't speak for him but from what he was saying what i'm saying but you can't say it never <laughs> bro in our lifetime this shit will never crumble Huh? In our lifetime, you want to bet on it? Bet you a dollar, probably 90 years from now. <laughs> yeah. All right, 90 years from now, we're going to see if the U.S. crumbles. All right. All right, bro. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Bro. All right, take He was basically saying the U.S. is too powerful to, to come down. And I try to remind him that millions, there, oh, not millions, but there are thousands of empires that fell that were at their highest, you know, Kemet was ruling for over 300,000 years. 300,000 or 3,000. 3, One of them, I'm, I'm probably getting the numbers mixed up. But Kemet was the, was, was, was the longest standing empire in the history of mankind. You know, we have empires like the Ghana Empire, Timbuktu Empire. We have so many empires. We have the Roman Empire. I bet the Romans thought their shit would never fall. You know what I'm saying? So, um, empires come and go. And right now we are in, in 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 the Western atmosphere or in the Western Empire. America is a Western Empire, um, and maybe it will be a Eurasian Empire next, or or you know what I'm saying. Um, 